epic rematch touches down in Dublin. The vicious elbows of Peter Queeley. There it is! Are out to stop TKO tactician Patricky Pitbull. It's all over! In the biggest title fight of their lives. Plus, hometown hero James Gallagher looks to take down submission guru Patchy Mix. Wow, Mix! It's a double dose of Dublin destruction. You're running out of luck, bro. Bellator MMA, live from Ireland, tomorrow on Showtime, where warriors rule. Back here with Rashad Evans and joined from Las Vegas, the guys from Morning Combat, Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell. Uh, Champ, what do we think about what uh, the war of attrition is what Queeley talked about, thinking that if this goes to the fourth and fifth rounds, that will be his advantage. What do you think about that? I think he has a point there, but I also think that he needs to also remember that in the first fight, um, uh, Pitbull was able to land some shots that can have problems later on in the fight. By that, I mean he was able to go to the body. You know, Queeley keeps a very high guard, which leaves his body open. But not only that, he was getting his leg kicked pretty good too on a consistent basis where it caused Queeley to actually change stances. So those are the things that can hurt you going in the stretch and those are the things that Queeley's going to have to be aware of in this fight if he really wants to uh, drive in those championship rounds fourth and fifth. So that'll be a slight change to the format obviously going to be Queeley with some home cage advantage out there in Ireland with SBG and Team Pitbull. Guys what do we think about this particular fight and Luke I'll start with you who do you think wins this vacant lightweight belt title and why? It's a it's an interesting one. It's a close and competitive one. I could see a case, frankly, for either guy. But the issue for Patricky uh, Pitbull, for me, is not that he can't win. I think all the things Rashad identified are quite real. He is an offensive dynamo in some of the similar ways as his brother. But here's the problem. The defense isn't quite there and hasn't necessarily ever been there. In fact, part of the reason why the elbows landed that caused the cut the first time was because he was kind of maintaining close enough distance in, so, let's say, some reasonably susceptible positions where it caused this. And that's not so much that particular kind of strike but that has been that that willingness to absorb damage has been kind of a consistent thread through his career maybe that'll be different this time it would not be surprising but I'm going to go with Peter Quilly. I think he actually had a pretty good performance the first time all things considered and I think he's going to have a pretty good one tomorrow night you know, I think you look at the betting odds here, I think they're telling you something important. It's that Patricky Pitbull had a hiccup in that last fight, but he's still the more devastating, more dangerous fighter of the two. And now you're going to give him five rounds to have an opportunity to prove that. Look, it's not going to be easy. He's got to go on the road here in his opponent's backyard, a guy who just beat him. But if we look back at Patricky's career, it's been so close to having his moment so many times, twice losing in the finals of the Bellator seasonal tournaments that they previously employed, and then a vacant title shot in this division against Michael Chandler, in which he lost by first round devastating knockout. He's been as close as you can come to the dance to getting asked and, and, and putting that uh, corsage around him, if you will. This is his moment, and this is a guy that at the end of the day, he can beat in Peter Queeley, and he knows that. Give Queeley credit for getting the stoppage in the first one. He talks a great game. He's a tough out from that SBG gym in Dublin. But this feels like Patricky's night to put his name in the belt or history books right alongside his brother. All right, Rashad, that means you get to break the tie. What do you mm, think? I get to break the tie. This one is a very tough one for me. I mean, you know, Peter Queeley... Um, Tremendous talent. You know, he has a very nice hard guard, and he absorbs a lot of shot coming forward, making it really hard, making his fighter, uh, his opponent fight out of cadence, making him a little bit tired. That's what you've seen in the first fight with Patricky. But there's a lot of holes in his game, meaning the fact that he only throws one single punch, and sometimes he bicycles after he starts throwing a few punches. So those are the things that I think that Pitbull is going to be able to take advantage of. What Pitbull needs to be able to do as well is he also needs to show level changes. When a guy has a high guard like that, they really can't see when you change your level because they're blinding themselves with their hands up. So Patricky's going to have to do a good job of just keeping him on, on the fence, not knowing if he's going for the strikes or not knowing if he's going for the takedowns. That will lend him to be able to get him onto the ground and work his magic even more on the ground and be more offensive when he gets there right out the gate because uh, Quilly has a very offensive guard where he, as you've seen in the last fight, he cut him. So with all of that said, I'm going for Tricky. All right, two to one in terms of Team Pitbull are the picks right now. Uh, one thing to, to pass along as well in terms of the co-main that was a bantamweight fight. Mix did not make weight, 137.6. So it's a catch weight. He's going to lose a little bit of money there in terms of the purse. Uh, before we wrap things up here, guys, you guys are in Vegas. Caleb, Plant, we've got Canelo Alvarez, the unification of the super middleweight fight. Uh, give me the vibe and something to look out forward to this weekend. Yeah, the vibe is uh, championship fever, and we know the history, of course, at stake in this one. We're crowning, for the first time, 
a undisputed champion, all four belts in super middleweight history. Canelo Alvarez, the pound for pound king, the biggest draw in the sport. Obviously, rightfully a, a, a favorite. But what does Caleb Plant know, the unbeaten IBF champion, that we don't? That's what I've been trying to figure out this week. There's another worldly level of confidence with him. We know he's quick. We know he can box. He's got a high IQ. Will that matter against Canelo? We only can find out Saturday night. But Luke, he, he, he believes in himself, and there's something to that. And it's so funny. We've been talking to various boxing experts, not just this week, but the weeks leading up to this one. And I have to tell you, it's kind of funny. On the one hand, you'll get a whole side of the boxing community who's like, Caleb Plant has absolutely no chance. Canelo's going to walk right through him. Okay. Then the other side is like, dude, Caleb Plant is the most underrated. Wait until you see. Fast hands, fast feet, great combos. Just the kind of guy to give someone like Canelo with his particular style a lot of problems. And that amount of, I would say, polarization on how people feel about it tells you that, A, the truth is probably going to be somewhere in the middle or not necessarily falling directly in line anyway with one of those two camps. And that, no one really knows. No one really knows exactly what's going to happen, which I feel like a lot of times with Canelo fights, that's not necessarily the way I've been looking at it. But this time, genuine mystery, genuine intrigue, even if Canelo Alvarez is your top pound for pound talent. Guys, enjoy it. That is Showtime pay-per-view on Saturday. Or thanks to the guys from Morning Combat, Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell. Also, Rashad Evans bringing it down as we get ready for... Bellator 270 on Friday. As you take a look at the prelims, want to remind you about Bellator 271 happening next week in Hollywood, Florida. Hard Rock Live with Cyborg and Kavanaugh for the featherweight world title. Then Bellator 272 on December 3rd, Mohegan Sun Arena, Uncasville, Connecticut, Pettis, and Horaguchi for the bantamweight world title. As for that main card, down to four. Again, the co-main is now a catch weight with Gallagher and Patchy Mix there with Mix missing weight, but that one will still go at it. And then Quigley and Pitbull for the vacant lightweight world title bout. Again, home soil and the crowd will be rooting for the fellow Irishman. Guys of Morning Combat do a great job. Again, they're on location in Las Vegas ahead of the Caleb Plant and Canelo Alvarez Championship Unification bout. Check them out, the daily MMA and boxing podcast. Download and follow the guys today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.